do you think there's a constructive conversation to have with modern women? Um, <clears throat> actually, I prefer it when people call in that disagree, but it's it's, <laughs> it's usually more people agree. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I I think there's like at some point they're too far gone. But, like, there's some that maybe aren't as... You know what I'm saying? Like, like the yeah. ones that are younger, I think, maybe, Can like... Can be, like, swayed. Yeah, but it's, like, at 35, 35 32. It's, like, what <laughs> what's going to change your opinion at that point? Um, I would say with, like, the younger generation, but, like, in general, I just tell guys to date younger because, like, yeah. it's just easier. They're less traumatized. Less, less of a headache, yeah. Yeah, I, I think there's a constructive conversation. I think the constructive conversation, like Pearl was saying, is with the younger generation. Um, excuse me, sorry. I don't think I don't think that it's constructive with the older generation because the older generation, like I was saying earlier on in the show, in the show is the ones that are going to try and destroy anything that you built without their ideology because they they're starting to realize now. Oh, damn! I actually I I, I chose the wrong path, mm-hmm. right? And so when you realize you chose the wrong path and you have an ego and pride you don't necessarily, you don't want to admit that you've done wrong. You mm-hmm. don't want to admit that you you were in the wrong, mm-hmm. right? So these people that, the older generation are going to be the bitter, old, angry, uh, depressed generation. The younger generation can, can actually be saved, I think. Yeah, I, I think so too. And then I wanted to ask also, have you guys found any points um, that resonated with younger women? Yes. Um, really? What? Yes. I, 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 there was a specific woman that was on the show once. I don't remember her name. We've done so many shows. So many shows. Right? Um, but when I was speaking after the show, mm. she she said to me, you know what? I have never had anybody speak about this stuff in the way you guys have spoken about it. Mm. And it's kind of opened my mind. Whereas her being, I think she was like 21, 22. Mm-hmm. And everything that she'd been fed to up to that age had been, you know, the from older. But you, you don't think there's any points that specifically resonate with like women in general? I can't think of any. Um, like I would say like certain women, sure. But women in general? Do you know what it is, Pearl? I, mm-hmm. think, I think all the points that we make resonate with women. But they are so stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> right that they refuse mm-hmm. to let it permeate mm-hmm. they know mm-hmm. women in general know that what we're saying makes sense <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> they know yeah, they yeah. know it right yeah but they refuse to let it permeate right and so that's the thing it's like if you know something makes it's like if you know one plus one is two right and you're fighting that it's 674 you right? still know it's two. You still yeah, know it's two, yeah, yeah, but yeah. because of the fact that you are hanging all of your, I guess, emotions on the fact that it's 674, mm-hmm. like, you just won't say it's two. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So I think most of the women that come on the show know that what we are saying makes sense. Mm-hmm. However, they just, they're so stubborn. And, and that's why I said, and that's what, going back to what you say, modern day women are some of the most mm-hmm. Stubborn. stubborn. They're the most stubborn. Yeah, yeah, go on. They're they're some of the most stubborn and vindictive and hard-headed women that you'll ever come across. That's what I've personally come to realize. Yeah, because I feel like there's a lot of finger pointing. And Uh I think men men listen and they're like, okay, you know, how can I work on myself? So how can I get six-pack, a six-pack? How can I get six figures, you know, to you know, meet these standards. But whenever you say like, okay, but you know, I don't want you to dress like a hoe and go out to the clubs every weekend. You know, Mm -hmm. it's like, that becomes a problem. Like don't control how I dress or, you know, just all those kinds of things. It's like, it it turns back on us. And I just feel like there's no wanting to take like, okay, you know, if I want you to make 80 to hundred a year, I can, you know, be more modest around. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Yeah, but that's the uh, that's the thing about the stubbornness. Women know that if they want to keep their man, just like men know if they want to keep their woman, there are going to have to be certain um, compromises that have to be made. 
The problem is with the right. modern the problem is with the modern day woman is they don't think they need to compromise for for anything or exactly. anyone. They think they don't it's need like to like men are more than willing to compromise. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. You see the amount of whales that have boyfriends. <laughs> Right, because <laughs> they've compromised. But the modern day woman, and that's why I said at the beginning, and we talk about the feminism fallout, women are going to be the ones that are most affected by feminism, not men. It's these women that have taken on this ideology that refuse to compromise, that refuse to listen, that refuse to even take on anything other than the feminist ideology in, a, in 10 to 15 years, they are going to be the most angry and bitter individuals that you will ever find. And, I, and like I said, I'm going to tell you as a brother, and I'm going to tell all the women, be very careful of those women because they will try to sabotage everything that has been built without their ideology. They're going to they're try and sabotage your family. They're going to try and sabotage any family that's been built without their ideology right? They're going to try and sabotage it. They're going to tell you, they're going to try and go for the women. They're going to tell the women that they're quote unquote, what? Pick me's, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. They, we've already seen it. They're going to tell them that they're yep. pick me's. They're going to tell them that, you know, they're, 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 they're idiots. They're going to tell the men that they're misogynistic. They're going to tell the men that they're patriarchal, all this kind of, all, all of it is, it's, it's just sabotage. All of these modern day women are just trying to sabotage because things are now being built and people are now having a different ideology to what they have. Mm -hmm. How do you know? 25 there you go yeah oh yo oh definitely you're definitely in 10 in 10 years you're going to be 35 you you'll definitely get a 25 year old no no yeah. no no problem but those women are still going to be 35 40 right they're going to be 35 40 looking at you saying yeah. looking at you telling you oh my god you're a pedophile because you want to get with a yeah. 25 year old <laughs> right that's what i'm saying they're going to mm -hmm. do anything to sabotage and i'm and I, i'm telling people from now the, the modern day, the modern day feminist, ultra feminist, super saiyan feminist in 10 to 15 years is going to be the most vindictive, evil woman that you would ever come across. She's going to try and sabotage and the everything. the worst part is she'll sabotage younger women. Yes. That's like, that's, a, that pisses yeah. me off above all else yes. is like when older women sabotage younger women. Yeah. It's like, if you're going to... If you're gonna take L's, can you just take the L's and like at least teach the next generation? Right. Like that's yeah. what I appreciate about Auntie. Like she was a single mother. I love Auntie. Yeah, but she was a single mother. But she'll come like she'll come out and say, "No, I shouldn't have been. Like I made a poor decision." Right. And that's and that's the thing. Like like modern women will die on the hill that they've never. One hundred percent. They will die and try and bring other people to die with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, misery loves. Company. Yeah, misery yeah. loves company. They will bring yeah. all of that's the other. I... Yeah, go on. Sorry, bro. I... No, all good. I, that's why I like when you, I mean, it's kind of rude, I guess, but when you say whales, it's like, it's not healthy or cute or cool to be out of shape. No. You know what I mean? And it's like, and any woman that's saying like, you go girl, body positivity, it's like, no, you're saying that because you're 130 pounds. Well, and it's one thing making fun of someone for something they can't change. But like, honestly, if they got exactly. called, out, like I was, I was anti sometimes, like she's very blind. But it's kind of helpful because it's like yeah. when someone makes fun of you for something, you want to change it, right? And then you work bring back on bullying. It. They said that's right? what I'm saying. I'm like, some of y'all never had brother brothers to bully you, and it shows. It shows, honestly. Mm -hmm. I bullied my sister. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll call my brother <laughs> now and thank him. <laughs> yeah, I bullied my sister. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I mean, it's like you know, I can't change how tall I am, but it's not a problem to hear women say, "You, oh, you aren't six foot," right? But, but I can't say, like, you need to lose a little bit of weight. Or, like, I don't want to be with you anymore. You put on 50, 60 pounds. And they can change like, that. Like, that's not okay. They can yes, change that. That's change totally it. within their power. Yeah, 100%. Well, that was pretty much all my questions. I'm glad you guys had time for me. Listen, bro. Yeah, thanks for Thank calling. you very much for calling in. Call in oh, again. Yeah. <laughs> Will do. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.